Hey, Bob. It's another exciting day in paradise, and boy, oh boy, is it a great day to be alive, especially when you consider the alternative. It's a new year. It's 2020. What are your plans for 2020? Do you have plans to get in better shape? Do you have plans to get a better financial situation, to pay off debt, to get smarter? What are your plans? Tell me about it. Or more importantly, what plans are you actually going to commit to? Because we could say all day long, I want to do this, I want to do that, I plan to do this. But how often does our mind convince us otherwise? How often when the situation actually comes up where you have to eat healthier or you have to go to the gym or something like that, your mind will trick you and convince you otherwise. You've earned this break. You can come down. You can go back tomorrow. I challenge you to, as a New Year's resolution this year of 2020, to com actually commit to fighting off your mind trying to weaken you. Fight those temptations. Go against them. The life's going to throw you obstacles all the time. When, especially when you're, when everything is going just fantastic. When things are just, when you think you're having a great day, and I'll give you a good example. I, I'm thinking, hey, I just got done visiting my, my daughters for Christmas. I was feeling really good. I came back, and I'm driving home, and I'm excited to finally stop driving, and my key won't come out of the ignition. I am go to take it to a repair shop to get checked out because obviously I can't go without a car. And what do they say? Oh, I got to get my shifter switched out. How much does that cost? 800 bucks. That's 800 bucks I didn't expect to pay. But I pay it anyways because I'm not going to let any obstacle stop me from my goals and being successful and pursuing my dreams. And then today, I'm driving my car and service stabilized track comes up. And service track control comes up. Um, what do I say? Other than these are signs. This is life giving me signs to fix something. And what that something is, is my car. I need to fix my car. How? By switching it out for a better car. So I'm gonna need to trade my car in to get a better car, obviously. Because working on this car has cost me double the amount I already spent on buying the car from the company I work for. So it's been quite the investment, but again, I'm staying positive no matter what because these are all signs. Everything that happens in life, whether it's good or bad, happens for a reason. These issues with this car was like, it's kind of like it, uh, it's kind of like the old saying where a lady is drowning in an ocean and, and a boat comes out to try and save her, a little pontoon fishing boat. She says, no, God's going to save me. And then, and then a bigger boat, like a, a big regular boat, like a ski, jet ski boat comes by and asks, hey ma'am, can, can we help you? You look like you're drowning. She says, no, God's gonna save me. And then a big cruise liner boat comes by, asks, hey ma'am, you look like you're drowning. Can he save you? No, God's gonna save me. And then she ends up drowning. And then she goes up to heaven and says, God, why didn't you save me? It's like, I sent you three boats. It's the same way in life. Bad or good, things happen because they're directing you the way you should go. These car issues I'm dealing with, I've been dealing with these issues more than just this issue. I've dealt with these issues before that. I have over 150,000 miles on this SUV right now. That should have been telltale sign enough that, hey, I need to get a different car. But I was stubborn. And I ignore those many telltale signs, and here I am with yet another car issue and yet another expense. So I guess the biggest thing I could tell you, uh, thing I would want this video to focus on is if you're gonna make goals, stick to them and actually commit to them and do them. Otherwise, they're not worth making and you're only fooling yourself. So I hope you all have a fantastic 2020. I plan to. Uh, and I hope to see y'all next time. Um, y'all stay classy. Back to you in the studio, Bob.